Oh dear. Literally landed in the mud. <laughs> Well, I was over with my cousins and came home in the floods. It's been pouring rain, absolutely deluging thunder and lightning and wild clouds and winds. So I finally got home and a chance to feed the ladies. Christmas Eve, and we have wild weather. Black clouds. Look at the storm over in that direction. Really, really black, dark clouds. Those steely gray skies. Yep, there's a bit more lightning. One, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand. 1,000. 5, 1,000, 6, 1,000, 7, 1,000, 8, 1,000, 9, 1,000, 10, 1,000, 11, oh, a vague road, so it's about 11, 12 miles away. So these ladies are very happy to have a bit of meal because they're wet. They're in very good condition. This is an older lady, so she's in less good condition. But so far, everybody's in relatively good condition. Oi, you, behave. No, you, behave. Empty bucket. That was my tripod. I love... Um, when the sky is the way it is, the yellow of these willows just is so bright in this winter light. Hello, you. Look at that. Right down deep in there, it's lovely and warm and dry. All the rest of this that's chilly. So underneath their thick fleece, they're warm and dry. That's ear feather, licking the bucket clean. You two behave. You're not to be bold. I know certain person is greedy to get to the sheep food, aren't you? You behave. You behave. They fairly wolfed that down. That's me just throwing the bucket over at the back behind me. You're bold. Yeah, I know. I know. You're bold. They're licking the platter clean. Some yos are finished and moving on already. little bit, getting every last bit she can. Come on. Hey, 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 Brindle, Brindle. Easy, easy. Brindle, come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, ah, okay, Brindle, easy, leave it. Good girl. Come on. You, move. Look at her. Big belly. Got a few months to go still. No, no, don't go behind the gate. Go through the gate. Come on, ladies. Come on. It's so mucky and manky and wet and yucky. Manky, manky, wet, nasty weather. Ah, and that's what Christmas Eve is in Ireland. Manky, wet, cold thunderstorm.
They're all heading out to eat the hay now. Except for a little bit. What you want? Hmm? What you want? Ooh, I can still hear the rumbling of the thunder. Ooh! It is so nasty and manky. Oh. You stay there a little bit. Absolutely spilling it down earlier. I videoed me driving through a bit of a flood earlier. So I'll include that in this video. She wants to go into the kitchen and lie down next to the aga like he did as a lamb, huh? No aga for you. You're an old mature you with a woolly fleece. to leave a bit of food. You can see, I know, a certain person is licking some of it up. But you see there's bits of oats and barley. The dogs will clean up a bit. But I always like to leave a little bit for the wild birds. And there's some that'll be spilled on either side. So, long-tailed tits, robins, yellow hammers, uh, Rooks, ravens, jackdaws, pigeons, magpies, robins, oh, I already said robins, house sparrows, they'll all be, they all come down here and hunt away in the feeding area for missing grains and worms and bugs and beetles. Because this is, a lot of this is bark chipping. Years and years of bark chipping, so it's easy for them to pick through for worms and grubs. So it's kind of like a wildlife feeding station, as well as feeding for livestock. So it's a combined endeavor. <laughs> 